Welcome to Quarter 4, Week 1, Grade 6 Mathematics. The relationship of the volume between a rectangular prism and a pyramid, a cylinder and a cone, and a cylinder and a sphere. All solid occupy space. Volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional object occupies. In order to tell the amount of space occupied by a solid, we must have a volume unit. Volume is measured in cubic units such as cubic centimeters, cubic decimeters, or cubic meters. Different objects have different formula to find its volume. First, we have the relationship of the volume between a pyramid and a rectangular prism. Let's say we have three pyramids with rectangular bases and a prism. Let's say the base area is 18 square centimeters. Same with the two pyramids. The rectangular prism also has a base area of 18 centimeters square. Let's say the height of the three pyramids is 8 centimeters. And the height of the rectangular prism is also 8 centimeters. If the pyramid is filled with sugar and then its contents are poured into the prism, only a third of the prism will be filled. So the volume of a pyramid is one-third the volume of prism with the same base and height. The formula for getting the volume of the pyramid is equal to V is equal to one-third area of the base times height. So the volume of one pyramid is one-third 18 times 8 or it is equal to 48 cubic centimeters. If you multiply 3 because there are 3 pyramids you will get 144 cubic centimeters. So the total volume of the three pyramids is equal to 144 cubic centimeter. Now, the formula of the rectangular prism, V is equal to area of the base times height. V is equal to area of the base, which is 18, times the height, which is 8 centimeters. The volume of the rectangular prism is equal to 144 cubic centimeter. You can see the volume of three pyramids is equal to the volume of one rectangular prism. If the given base area and the height of the pyramid and the prism is equal. Next we have the relationship of the volume between a cone and a cylinder. A cone, like the cylinder, has a circle as its base and a curved face with a vertex. If the cone is filled with sand and then its contents are poured into cylinder, only one third of the cylinder will be filled. This explains that the volume of a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder with the same radius and height. Let's say radius of the cone is 6 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters. The height of the cylinder is 8 centimeters and the radius is equal to 6 centimeters. Finding the volume of the cone, we use the formula V is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. So it is equal to 1 third times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius 6 squared, times the height, which is 8. So the volume of one cone is equal to 301.44 cubic centimeters. If you multiply it by 3, the total volume of the three cones is equal to 904.32 cubic centimeters. Now let's get the volume of the cylinder. By using the formula V is equal to pi r squared h, V is equal to pi which is 3.14 
times the radius, which is 6, squared, times the height, which is 8 centimeters. The volume of the cylinder is equal to 904.32 cubic centimeters. You can see that the volume of three cones is equal to the volume of one cylinder. Next, we have the relationship of the volume between sphere and a cylinder. The volume of a sphere is equal to two-thirds of the volume of the cylinder whose height and diameter are equal to the diameter of the sphere. We must now make the cylinder's height 2R so the sphere fits perfectly inside. The volume of the cylinder is pi times R squared times H. The volume of the sphere is 4 thirds times pi times R cubed. So the sphere's volume is 4 thirds versus 2 for the cylinder. Remember, the relationship between the volumes of rectangular prism and pyramids is that when a prism and pyramid have the same base and height, the volume of the pyramid is one-third of the volume of the prism or V is equal to one-third VH. In a similar way, the volumes of a cone and a cylinder that have identical bases and heights are proportional. If a cone and a cylinder have bases with equal areas and both have identical heights, then the volume of the cone is one-third the volume of the cylinder, or V is equal to one-third BH, or V is equal to one-third pi R squared H. The volume of a sphere is equal to two-thirds of the volume of a cylinder whose height and diameter are equal to the diameter of the sphere or V is equal to four-thirds BH or V is equal to four-thirds pi R squared H.